Aloha guys, it's Logan back with GoGo -Go Rental. Today, we're in Koalina at the Koalina Lagoons for another GoGo -Go Rental Discover. Stick with us. Koalina is gonna be about a 40 minute drive, maybe 30 depending on traffic, from central Waikiki. Now once you get out here to Koalina, you're sort of isolated from everything. That doesn't mean that you're far away from anything. You're still on an island, nothing is that far away. Uh, but there's really nothing else here in Koalina. If you're coming here, you are coming for this which is worth it, but I'm just saying, that'd be all you're coming here for. So the town of Koalina, you could kind of break down into three different parts. One is the residential part. Number two, there's a golf course that kind of separates the whole thing. On the west end of that golf course, there's a few shops, a couple places to eat. Other than that, all resorts. So you could sort of look at it as like a quieter Waikiki, I guess. Once you're on the resort side of Koalina, over here by the lovely lagoons, there's a walkway that connects all of them. And this is great for obviously just going on a walk, but if you want to go for a run, anything like that, really, really nice for that. As you enter Koalina, there's gonna be like a booth that you pass. Kind of looks like a ticket booth, but really all it is is someone that's gonna wave at you and smile and you wave back and you go in. But why that's important is because they have a sign which displays if there's parking available at the lagoons. If it says no parking, you kind of just have to go to the lagoons and wait for parking to open up or turn right around right there and go find another beach because if there's no parking at those spots, there's no parking at all. One thing to note, Lagoons one, two, three are gonna have by far the smallest parking lots. So your best bet is usually to go all the way down to the lagoon number four, which is also the only lagoon that isn't like directly affiliated with some sort of resort or hotel like lagoons one, two, and three are. It really doesn't matter. You can go to any of the lagoons that you want. But as you can see, the lagoon here is gonna have seating, which is only for their guests. All beaches here on Oahu are public beaches, so please take advantage of them. But if you're looking for the one that is just kind of off by itself, most parking, not affiliated with a resort or hotel, number four is the one for you. A few other amenities here at Kotalina. Uh, we do have bathrooms at each one of the lagoons. There's also showers at each one of the lagoons and water fountains at each one of the lagoons. So it's a really easy spot to spend the entire day right after you lock up that parking spot. Aside from the beaches here, there obviously is beautiful lagoons to accompany them. So those lagoons are gonna be pretty good for people who are not the strongest swimmers, being as though they're protected from the ocean. It's also a nice place to learn how to snorkel if you've never gone before. I'm not gonna say the snorkeling is like world class or anything, uh, but you'll see some fish and it'll be very safe, calm, chill environment to practice in. One other thing is there's a ton of green space here. So even if you don't wanna hang out on the beach and get sandy, great place to stop, go for a walk, maybe just relax under a tree for a while. And as always guys, with the parking, if you decide to drive a motorcycle or a scooter over here, you're gonna save yourself a little bit of hassle on parking. Uh, you can also pick up a couple snorkel sets at GoGo -Go Rental with that rental, so you can hop right in the water when you get here. That's gonna be it from the Koalina Lagoons from us, you guys. I hope if you are heading to the west side, you come over here. It is an extremely cool place. I would highly recommend it. Until next time, I'm Logan. This is GoGo -Go Rental. Aloha.